didn't write anything down, but you want to be a streamer, this is the number one best thing you can do. The absolute only lesson to take away from today if you want to bake it big on Twitch. Quit. Fucking quit right now. That is my advice to you. All right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Aaron Jafar Hernandez Flores. I'm 26 years old, and I currently work as an analytical chemist pursuing a career in streaming slash YouTube content creation. In this video, we are going to watch slash react to Ludwig's video titled, Don't Start Streaming Before Watching This. While watching and slash reacting to this video, we're gonna write down our goals for our journey as a content creator. The main things we're gonna be looking at in this video are four of the main important questions I think Ludwig asks us as content creators, which is one, why do you wanna be a streamer? Two, when is your start date? Three, what are your goals for the first year? And then four, who are three to five content creators you want to emulate? Once we write down those four goals, at the end of the year, we're going to revisit our goals and determine how we did. And based on how we did one of those goals, we're going to be honest with ourselves and evaluate whether we're cut out to be a streamer slash content creator and determine if we should continue or quit. Obviously, I'm going to be on the side of wanting to continue. I think I'm going to succeed. Or no, not think. I, I believe I'm going to succeed. Believe it. And won't quit. At the end of the video, we're going to look over our goals and compare what they look like at the beginning of last month and what they look like now and how many of them we have accomplished at this point. All right, so let's get into the video. Do you want to be a streamer? That's it. That's how it starts. This is it. Now, maybe on the surface level, you'll be thinking, well, yeah. Yeah, I want to be a streamer. Are you kidding me? Well, think about it a little bit deeper. Don't just think, do you want? Think why do you want? What do you want out of it? All right. So as he mentions, everyone wants to be a streamer, right? That's like the easy answer. Yeah, I want to be a freaking streamer. But like he says, the more important question is, why do I want to be a streamer? <laughs> I don't think I thought a lot about that question in the beginning. But as I've streamed more, I, I've really thought about the question. I want to break this down into two parts where I have two answers. My first answer being my original answer when I first started. And now my new answer being similar to my first answer, but I've updated it. I've changed some things because my goals changed in that time. For my original answer, I said something along the lines. I want to be a streamer because I want to find more time to do the thing that I love, which is gaming. Wait, what is this? What is this? Currently, my career, my wife, my family, my friends, even my pet, you know, I guess he is part of my family. Take up all my time, which leaves me little to no time for my favorite pastime, which is gaming. And that's not to complain, you know, it's part of life. We all have to grow. For me, if I could potentially become a successful streamer, that would replace my career and would still leave me time for my family, my friends, my wife, all that stuff. And I would still, and I would get to do the things that I love. I would get to play video games. Again, don't take that as an, I don't like those other things. I do. The second part of my original answer was, I want to become a streamer because I've never felt like I've had control of my life and haven't been entirely happy as I've struggled with depression and anxiety, as most of us do probably, or most of us that are streamers, content creators, or people who watch YouTube in general. I believe that these problems come from the fact that I've always just done what was expected of me and not pursuing what makes me entirely happy, which is gaming. I believe that streaming would give me that control and happiness that I've been looking for, and I have evidence to back it up. In my first month of streaming, I was super excited. I was super happy all the time. I was really motivated to go do it. It was something I was working towards. It was my own personal goal, and I think I was missing that in my life, you know, just apart from that. I think as a little kid, I've always dreamed of playing video games for my life. That's, that's just something that I've always thought of. Lastly, in my original answer, I said I wanted to become a streamer because even though I have friends that I can talk to or have friends in real life or gaming friends, it's extremely hard to find time to spend with them as we're all busy in our lives and have conflicting schedules. I mean, we can all probably relate to this, right? Like as we get older, we get busier, we have our jobs, we have family, we have our partners. I wouldn't want to use the word partners anymore. I have my wife and other people have their, their relationships. That was my final answer because becoming a streamer would allow me to have more time to spend with my friends. And more importantly, I want to work on building a community of what I want. I want to call a community of homies. That seems super cool to me. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about my new answer, right? As I mentioned earlier, it's not different than my original answer. It's just a little more detail. It has some things that are added to it. In the short time that I've streamed, I've actually been thinking about my last point a lot. You know, the point about building a community of homies. That's something that I'm really interested in. This is going to seem unrelated, but the reason I'm really focused on that last answer. In the time that I was streaming, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse came out. And to prepare for it, I rewatched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And as you can see, I, I have a lot of reference to it even right now in this video where you can see on the bottom... 
bottom left for me, right you. Anyways, I bring these movies up because they're super important to me as I relate to Miles Morales because through Miles' journey in the movie, it makes my existence feel validated and offers me a great deal of motivation when I need it the most. It's just very inspirational because Miles is struggling to find who he is in the world and you know, through the movie, we see that he doesn't want to be Spider-Man and he becomes like the best Spider-Man of all. All right, how does this relate to the community of homies I want to build in my stream? Through my journey in streaming, I want other people to feel the same way that I do when I watch into the Spider-Verse or across the Spider-Verse, just because those movies motivate me a lot and inspire me. I think the best way I can do that is to build and foster a non-toxic community where we show support and love to one another and help each other achieve goals in any way that we can. We're going to be there for you the whole way, you know, because, yeah. you know, we'll support you. Uh, we'll do everything we can. I'll be here when you get canceled and until the very end. Let's fucking go, Johnny. We got a life over yeah. here. Johnny W. Johnny W. Can we get W's in chat for Johnny, please? All right, so now we're going to move on to our next three points, which is when is your start date? What are your goals for the first year? And who are your three to five content creators you want to emulate? But really, actually do this. Write this down. Three things. First of all, if you want to be a streamer, when are you going to start? Set a hard start date when you're actually going to start. All right, yeah, so we've already done this first part. It's in my whiteboard back there. It says, start streaming June 1st, 2023. But as I mentioned earlier, I've already started streaming even before that. That's because Zelda Tears of the Kingdom came out. So I thought it would be the best idea to start streaming right away so I can garner a bit more audience for the release of the game. But yeah, I started streaming in May and haven't stopped then. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. now. Right, your goals for one year out. Success isn't based on how big of a streamer you are. It's based off the goals you set and your ability to achieve them in a certain time frame. All right, as I mentioned before, I've already written goals. I've already explained that I've changed some of my goals. And now we're gonna talk about them. For my first year goals is one, have fun. I was having a lot of fun when I first started, but you know, it got a little heavier. And now I'm trying to get back to the groove of having fun because that's what matters most. Two, the most important goal for me, build and foster a non-toxic community where we show love and support to one another. Three. Become a Twitch partner. And a smaller goal for that is become a Twitch affiliate, which we've already accomplished. 15. Fourth goal, get 1,000 subs on YouTube and 4,000 watch hours or 10 million short views to become a YouTube partner. Five, stream at least three days out of the week with a minimum of one hour each day, but try for two and be consistent with the days and times. And again, I've already achieved this. Six, be more active on social media and try to post at least two to three times a week. I'm doing that every morning about when I'm gonna be streaming or just things in my life, which is awesome. I've achieved that goal as well. Goal seven, the hardest goal for me, learn how to edit. I say I struggle with this because I'm not good at editing. No one is when they start, but also I have a hard time wanting to sit down and edit. I gotta get that motivation. Maybe I need to watch more Spider-Man. My last goals are Learn how to structure videos by making scripts. Post edited content at least once a week on YouTube. If it's not at least once a week, I'll try to get one at least once a month. Last goal was to create a Twitch schedule, which I've already done. Again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. I stream every single time without fail. And then the final thing to write down, three to five creators you want to emulate. Three to five content creators I want to emulate. My main one, my one on, on my number one list is Hasanabi. He's just my favorite streamer. He's not afraid to disagree with his chat and stand by his values and opinion. I think that's super important as a content creator. You just do you. Second reason, he has a lot of confidence and he has a lot of good drip. Three, even though he can come off as mean, he genuinely cares about his stream and his chatters. He wants to make them feel included and valued. Two, Ludwig, obviously. You can see I'm reacting to his video here. He's just inspirational because he's really good at making content. He's just a beast. Like I want to get to his level. It'll be a while probably, but I want to be at Ludwig's level. I just want to be more confident like him. You just see in his videos that he has this air of confidence. And also, he's just good at making videos in one take. I want to be like him. Last point for Ludwig is I want to be able to articulate stuff like he does in his videos. For the third streamer, I put Pokemon challenges, which could change. I really just like how much knowledge he has and how much he cares about Pokemon. He may not be as relatable as Ludwig or Hassan, but he's really good at what he does. He's so knowledgeable in Nuzlocke and Pokemon in general. And I think that's inspiring. I want to be a streamer who has something that he really loves. Just like Hassan, I don't think he cares what chat thinks of him. He also stands by his own values and opinions. It's just something I really love about these streamers, you know? We're going to this video by looking at my goals when I first started and what they look like now and how they changed. Here we go. You can see I wrote down my goals in the first stream and it looks very unorganized and all over the place. You can see I was just starting out. If you look at my next picture, you can see I redid it. I rewrote everything. I made sure it was organized and that it looked nice. 
And you can see that some of these goals are similar to the things that I talked about, but they've also changed based on what I talked about earlier. All right, so now I really wanna hammer down the point that the most important goal for me in streaming is to build a non-toxic community or a community of homies where we show support and love to one another and really try to help each other be the best version of ourselves in any way that we can. You know, again, it doesn't have to be financially. It can be in any type of form where you, you maybe have a skill that someone doesn't have, and that's awesome. I want to have a community like that. All right. What's next, apart from wanting to build that community? One of the other goals I really wanna focus on is becoming a Twitch partner. And that's gonna take some time. I don't expect that to happen overnight where I get 75 concurrent viewers at a time. Apart from becoming a Twitch partner, I also wanna make the viewer experience on my Twitch channel much better for viewers just because I feel like I've already had subs in the first month, but I didn't really give them much rewards and I really feel bad about that because they spent money. So I wanna give them rewards. I wanna make them feel like subbing is actually worth it. And apart from that, I'm working on a Discord community. I'm excited because I'm gonna foster my community there. Send off this video, like I mentioned in the beginning, at the end of the year, we're going to come back and revisit these topics slash goals and determine how many of them we completed and how many we failed at. And based on that, we're going to evaluate whether we're cut out to be a streamer slash content creator and determine if we're going to quit or not. I'm going to bet on myself and say with 100% confidence that I'm going to make it. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue. And I hope to see you guys all there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Ah.